Hello crafties. This is another TBT throwback trip. This is the second part of my Galapagos trip that I took in 2010 with my friend Terry. The reason I'm doing these TBTs throwback trips is because I'm not taking a big long trip this year. I will be taking shorter trips, longer weekends and a week or maybe 10 days here and there this summer. But no big, long cross-country trips like I did in 2023. This video might be a little longer than most, but believe me, it is beautiful, action-packed, with a party at the end. In this video, I will show you five islands that we went to, and things we saw, wildlife we saw, and some other beautiful scenery from the Galapagos. So here we go. We went on this cruise on the Evolution with International Expeditions. This is the statue of Darwin who discovered the Galapagos Islands. Here's the ship. Sorry, I can't tell you any specific information about the ship because I've forgotten it and I couldn't find it anywhere on the net. But it held about 40 to 50 passengers. There were about 20 of us passengers and then there were about 12 to 15 staff. Here's our rooms. This is our doctor with Izzy. Here are the cooks and servers. They fed us three wonderful meals a day. Everything was so delicious. We had many different courses throughout the 10 days. This was cute. Looks like a dragon with lots of fruit. Here is a palm tree on a fruit platter. And they had a full bar with some good wines that Terry and I had. This was their lounge and we met here every day after dinner and either watched a movie or the naturalist spoke to us about what we were going to do the next day. This is the bridge. Here I am trying to steer the ship. And there's Terry. We all got, we both got pictures on the bridge. This is the motor or the engine. It's actually on top of the deck. And this is where they hung all the wetsuits when we came back from snorkeling. One morning we encountered a pod of dolphins. Take a look.
afternoon, we took a hike on Bartholomew Island, up 300 steps to the landmark. Earlier in the day, we had gone snorkeling, and you may have seen those videos in part one. Here is most of the group. There was a group shot, but I didn't get that. Here we are looking over the bay, and you can see the sun is starting to go down. There is the landmark, and here is a shot of the bay with the iconic spiral on sunset. Santa Cruz Island is a very interesting island. It is the most populated island of the Galapagos, and it has the Darwin Educational Center and the preserve for the Galapagos tortoise. When we were there, we were able to see Lonesome George, who they estimated was over a hundred years old. He was originally from the island of Pinta, and he was the last of his kind. He never made it. Lonesome George died in June of 2012. Lonesome George. There were other tortoises at the sanctuary that we saw, and they fed them, and we actually got to go into the enclosure with them. a delicious lunch prepared for us while we were there and then we listened to this naturalist talk about the tortoise shells they had a tortoise chair I got to sit in and this is a lady trying to climb out of her shell and here I am with a wild tortoise the Galapagos tortoise is the largest tortoise in the world and they are only found on the Galapagos Archipelago of Islands. They can live, as George proved, to be over a hundred years old. They have different species that uh, live on different islands. The naturalists and rangers go out and try and round up eggs from different islands and bring them back to the preserve, keeping them separate and raising them to a larger size, and then they release them where they found them. We were allowed to walk up to them to take photographs and video. They suggested that we stand to the side or behind them. Terry is going to place Izzy on this tortoise back. Izzy gets her ride on the tortoise. Here are two tortoises coming together. I don't know if they know each other, if they're strangers, if one's male, female. Don't know anything about them. Just watching them get closer and closer. Sorry about the shakiness of my camera. Ah, turtle kisses. On one of the islands, we did a hike through the lava tube. There were quite steep stairs to come down to the lava tube. Here is the lava tube, and we walked in it for a while. Here's the group in the lava tube. Quite dark, but they did have lights for us. And these were some interesting markings on Genovisa Island, also known as Tower Island, is a shield volcano in the Galapagos 
and the eastern Pacific Ocean. The island occupies about 14 kilometers. The horseshoe-shaped island was a volcanic caldera. You can see how clear the water is around this island. This was the first seal we startled and he slid back into the water. Visa Island is the home of the red-footed booby. Uh-oh, here's a blue-footed. How did that happen? Maybe this is what happened. We had to climb the stairs to the top of the caldera. And on the way, we saw an owl. This is the top of the caldera. It's pretty flat. And there are frigate birds that nest on Janice, on this island. This is a young frigate bird. This is a chick. And here are the red-footed booby nests. They nest up in the trees, where blue-footed boobies nested on the ground. There's Izzy again, teasing the frigate baby young fricket bird. Oh, we found a dead owl while we were there. Don't know how it died. Here's a red-footed booby looking right at you. And those feet are definitely red. Terry with a red-footed booby almost on her hat. And here's my picture with a red-footed booby. What goes up must come down. We had to climb down the steps to get back on the panga. The next island we're going to is Fernanda. Fernandina Island. It's the youngest and the third largest island of the Galapagos and is the furthest west. It has a caldera on the top and it is a younger island only about a million years old since its formation. Like other islands it was formed by the Galapagos hotspot. We boarded the tankas and cruised by the island. On our way, we saw flightless cormorants, and they have beautiful blue eyes. Flightless cormorants. <laughs> we sailed into a cave and we saw some brown Betty birds. They were up in the rafters of the cave. They're little brown birds. And then there are some seagulls. Ah, here are the penguins, the Galapagos penguins. Did you know that penguins lived in the Galapagos Islands? Well, here's proof. Galapagos penguins.
North Seymour is now home for nearly 2,500 land iguanas, according to the census in 2014 by the Galapagos National Park. The island also hosts large populations of blue-footed boobies, swallowtail gulls, common nodies, and frigate birds. And of course, there are sea lions. Here's a family of sea lions. A big bull chasing the females. on the island we took a hike and on the hike we saw a whale skeleton a vertebrae and some ribs here is a single vertebrae of a whale more skeleton of the whale these look like scapula or shoulder blades and, of course, marine iguanas. One of our last excursions was in South Seymour, where we cruised around and in the mangrove forest and saw some interesting wildlife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. worth All it.
Ray. Another marble ray. Another Where? marble ray right there. <gasps> oh my marble, gosh. Black marble ray. Marble. Black. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait to get to the shallow. Wait to get to the shallow. Oh, the shark. Oh my gosh. Okay, the shark is actually messing up everything. <laughs> Hello. 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 Marble, like black marble. Got it. It did look like one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go. Skeleton about ready to dive. Got him. Let's see that in slow motion. No. Yes. no. I got a long, I got a long report from Alex, and he says that it's impossible to teach you anything. <laughs> he says there is one guy here who still confuses pelicans with finches. <laughs> How can that be possible? He says there is a person called Don. Who is Don? <laughs> Why are you looking at my wife? <laughs> you like? Do you like my wife? <laughs> how much? Are, how much you got? <laughs> Anything is possible in my kingdom with my blessing. You've been going off the trail and so many more things. So tonight, you're also looking at my wife. <laughs> What's wrong? Do you have a wife? Yes. Which one is your wife? He's right there. Okay, I thank you. So you have thank you. Have. <laughs> yeah? Okay. No. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> okay. So tonight we're gonna punish you people. So you can be officially part of this. Empire, King Neptune, the King of the Oceans. Have any of you been to the Galapagos Islands? Or would you like to go there? Put your comments down in the description and let me know. I hope you like this video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when traveling to the Galapagos Islands. Thanks for watching.